I'm just kidding. What are you crazy? It's me, Tyler. Welcome back to the Custom Command Mod Pack. This is episode. I had to pause to think. Let's go with episode 26.5. So, if you're wondering why that is, it's because in this episode, we're going to be doing some catch up. We're going to be beautifying things. We got some great new items we've been collecting from mobs as we have it across them in this world. For example, we have here, what is it, an orc head or maybe an ogre? I think it's an orc head. We've got an ogre hand. We've got a magic wand. And of course, we've got a vampire thing. I want to build a hallway in my home for all the special items that these mobs drop. You know, the idea is that the Custom Command Mod Pack, which, by the way, is 1.9 survival that adds command block modules to add, like, new mobs, new jetpack armors, and, and new food types, and blah, 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 to the world. The idea is that we slowly cycle through new stuff. Like, maybe for a period of time, this mob will exist in the game, and then it goes away. And then another mob is introduced. You know what I mean? Like... Keep it interesting, baby. You feel me? So, I want a hallway just in case something happens where we lose a certain type of mob and it doesn't come back. But, I, you know, maybe it dropped a specific type of item. I want to be able to remember that mob. So, in this episode, we're going to be beautifying. The main reason I wanted to do this was so that I could make a hallway to place item frames and then place the items within this hallway in my home. But I figured I, I've left this to rot for far too long. I've got plans for it. We're going to go with a nice end end theme down here. And um, in anticipation for us starting a new project very soon, which may or may not involve a certain village over there and a certain space over there, it's just best I become a good neighbor and uh, beautify my own area as well. So I guess I got, I cleared all of that. I'm just gonna get my tools now. So yeah, this is gonna be episode 26.5 because all we're gonna really gonna be doing is building a nice little hallway and I'm gonna be gathering materials. The quarries made a world of difference. I have so much cobblestone and I can sift it into new things. Oh boy, it's just a world of fun. So I'm gonna get my tools. I consolidated, so now there's, it's kind of spammy. So I'll just be back. The way this video is going to work is, like, most of this is going to be grindy. It's, like, 1 in the morning, um, like, right after I recorded the last episode. I'm literally going to just do this at night for the next few days and just give updates here and there. So just filling you in. I'm going to listen to some tunes. And when I've made okay progress, whether it's collecting materials, it's this or that, or if I have a good idea, I will unpause and I'll let you know. Oh, oh my gosh, there's a creeper down here. I don't know how that happened. I'm going to lose my mind sword 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 please give me a good one just give me a good one i don't care i need to get away stay i'm gonna i'm gonna lose my mind how did he get how is he in here how is he in here i don't understand please don't blow up anything mr crepe how does that happen did you see him eee! Eee! stupid Oh! oh man, a heart attack I almost had. How's what? I don't understand. I've never seen a mob down here. Where are my torches? Much better. All right, current mission plan. We are going to be heading into the end so that we can get some end city blocks. Because I was looking through my chests and my goodies. And actually, I don't think I saw any. Like, I had these. I had some purper blocks. But as far as I can tell, we have we don't even really have any end stone yeah we have none unacceptable so we're off to the end city i'll be back in one second now i want to do something with the final end area so i don't want to get any end stone from here i'll just collect it from the you know from this huge mass of land that i can do instead it just makes more sense because there's just so much going on here that, you know, why wouldn't I? Also, if I happen to cross a nice warship or some end cities, I'd like to get some pillar blocks. I have the purper, but I want some pillar. And I also brought an axe so I can cut down some trees if need be. So I'm going to be exploring and collecting blocks as I go. So I found an end city thing, and I wanted to test something out. I noticed when reading up on my Better Soups module that not only does Mushroom Stew give me, you know, regen, 
when I drink it, but apparently it also gives you luck, which is a new attribute modifier thingy in the latest snapshots, and apparently it modifies the chances that you get good items in chests as well. So excuse me while I dance around like a fool trying to lower my hunger. That's what's going on here, by the way. It's just so, can, like, maybe if I, you know, I guess I could just, I could just fly, fly for a little bit. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. You see, that didn't take too long at all. Now, let me get out of this mode so I can see exactly what's supposed to be happening. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. I Okay, so let me eat this stew, and we'll see. I like it, I like it. Ooh, hey, that's a friendly guy there. What about in here? Ooh, that's a, I don't really care about that, but we got beetroot seeds are good. That's actually a good amount of gold. Beetroot seeds, well, it's not even really that good. But on the plus, I cleared some of these mobs down here, and I'm honestly, I'm, it's, at the time of this recording, it is 3.15 in the morning. I know I can just create these pillar blocks, I believe. But I think I'm just going to level. Oh! Oh! I think I'm just going to level this, like, entire place. Just block at a time until I have what I need. I think that'll be a good idea. Or until I get sick of it. I'll probably get sick of it sooner. Anyways, I need to get pillar blocks. I don't care about these stupid ones. Wait, unless I can turn them. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to shut up. I'm delirious. All right, so it's been a little bit, but we've been doing fantastic work, truly. I mean, look at how many pillars we've collected. It's fantastic, really. We're doing a great job. Check out the inventory. We got a lot going on. I think it's safe to say I probably should have just collected chorus fruit instead and then cooked it in mass, but I literally, I did such a number. I did such a number on this place. In fact, let's... <laughs> Let's catch a glimpse of what, remember how it looked when we got here? Right, right. Talk about just went in on it. And and here's the here's the beautiful thing. You ready for this? Check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out. I oh boy, we need to get up there. The end stone, the end block stone, whatever this and that. Super, I mean, look, I kill it. I just burn through it. Now, I think I've actually got Ooh, I hear a friend. Oh boy! Not today! I'm out of here! We need to head back to that place that you go when it's time to leave this place. I gotta find that. I gotta look at my coordinates. We'll be right back. And it's time we went home, my friends. Once again! Got all the blocks we could pop. You know what I forgot? Oh, I forgot to get end stone! Just, I mean, the plain old end stone. Oh boy. Alright, well, that wasn't too bad. Check it out. We're good to go. And I went ahead and, you see, so this is going to be what we're working with on the downstairs area. Now, the current plan, let me see, what is this? One, oh, that was a very quick, ah, uh, <laughs> take it easy, take it easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And I'm going to cover that with some stone in right now pretty much okay so the first plan of action is we want to make a little hallway separate kind of do i have any? there's some stone separate ish like like a like a leading entrance almost like this there's gonna be a doorway over here in a hot second let me see let's oh in that in that something that was a uh, that was nice so it'll be one two three four five six this will be the doorway can we place something here for I guess we could do this for now. Let's do that. Sure, 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 sure. Oh, and you know what? Let me get my silk touch. That's going to make a world of easiness because now, you see, I I just love me some silk touch. I need to get a silk touch that's got some mending on it, really. So let's put the one, two, three, four, five, six. So right there. And then two. Okay, so that's how we'll remember where it's supposed to go. We'll mine that real quick. So again, I guess the plan of action is going to be... From... You know, I'm gonna do the floor first. We're gonna excavate the floor. All right, everything is one floor lower, and now it's time we replaced, and instead we're gonna get out the end stone and get things popping. So, time to just place down the bottom floor, and uh, yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun to do. All right, here's another update for you guys. We now have a little basic hallway area. Here's what I wanted to do with the purr purr blocks, I'll tell you. We wanted to, I wanted to do the ceiling. 
the ceiling is going to look real nice in here. It's going to have the nice per per color, you see? So we're going to start like that, and then we'll just take this guy sideways, just like that. And the entire inside of this little achievement area, that is going to be the colors that we're using. This is going to go further back. I'm just, obviously... I still have to do more work, and this is seriously bothering me. I might temporarily stop doing work in there, so I can figure out what I want to do with this. The stone, it's been here forever, I don't know how I feel about it, you know, it's starting to get to me, so, might do that, depends on how distracted I've been getting, I've been at it for, man, I've been doing this for a while, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so it's a new day. I mean, it's the same video, but for me, it's a new day. And what we're going to be doing right now is making ourselves a diamond axe. Because we don't actually have... I mean, I'm almost positive. Yeah, we don't have a diamond axe. Uh, wow, that was fun to hear me say. <laughs> we don't have a diamond axe, and I'm going to do a lot of tree chopping right now so I can get a lot of wood because I want to fix up, like I said. Uh, last night I was talking about the uh, this little stone area. I imagine some of it's going to be wood. So I need to grab a bunch of lapis and probably... I mean, I could use that wood... Do I have some wood? Okay, so that'll do for now. We'll grab those sticks too. So I'm going to make a bunch of... Right, right, right. Okay, so let's get to enchanting. We probably don't have that many things we can... I'd really like to get a good enchantment on my axe. It would be very much appreciated. Okay, so let's put the, the lapis in first. And what do we have? I mean, they, I mean now it'd be good if we had unbreaking as well. Ooh, hey, that's like... How convenient. That's... I'm like happy with that. I don't need to do anything else. So what we have on us here is uh, what we're going to need to get a lot of wood. And the whole idea here is that we're going to collect a lot of different types of wood so we can have some options for what exactly wood we want to use. So don't mind me while I plant many trees. I'm going to literally plant the... Oh, and I'm going to get some big spruces up in here. We're going to have so much wood by the end of this. Y'all don't even realize. Y'all don't understand. Grow. Grow. Yes. All of you. Please. Please. Another one. Another one. Give me another one. Can I, Let's get a nice regular up in here. Yeah. Now, we don't have any jungle, which is upsetting. I'd really like to get a nice jungle sapling, but... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're going to plant the rest of these big guys. Oh, I'm going to plant all of them, and then we're going to cut them all. Okay, I'm over planning. Let's see how many uh, things. Oh boy! Not my plan. Oh, I broke him. Okay, so as you can see, we've got many, many trees to cut down. So let's try and get up in the sky. Yes, that's good. Okay, so let's take it easy. Take it easy, turn. Take it easy. You see, I'm getting good at this. I, that was that was actually very nice. So now. I get to cut down all these trees, all these trees, and that could be fun. And I forgot, they're all casting shade, so trust me, I'm sure we're going to run into mobs real soon. So I finished cutting all the trees except the dark oak ones, which I think ironically is the wood that I used for that specific area. So we have got a bunch of wood, but not for what I wanted, um, but now it is nighttime. So I think I'm going to break the tree that I'm currently standing on. And assuming there's no problems, take care of the rest in a little bit. Yes, I know I shouldn't use the axe on the leaves. I don't care right now. Gosh. Two trees to go. This is the last tree. We've almost made it out of the woods alive. Something, right? Isn't that what you're supposed to say? Suspenseful or something? Please, let me get the whole tree down before they take me out. Come on now. Let's be reasonable. But I'm A, A, B, A. Oh, oh, hey, that guy's a strong guy. I know that much. I do know that much. Hey, oh, he's a fast one, too. You know what? And this guy's, just, you know, let's just get out of here. You know, I think that's probably going to be the best thing. First, to do. Right, right. Let me up. Thank you. Now we need to make sure that ogre stays away from our home because he could literally plow through it. Hmm. I think the best thing to do is probably go to sleep. We're going to go to sleep. Thank you so much for dropping like you should. Just like that. That's good. 
That, so that we get the right right so go to sleep <laughs> all right we did it and we finished up all the wood so now we can figure out what i want to do with this downstairs area yeah i see an ender knight do you see the name tag i see it anyways uh here's here's how it ended up i'm okay with it it's a little plain and brown for now we'll probably revisit it in the future i'd like for the stairs to be a different color than the ground floor in here you know but I haven't decided on what wood yet, and I really didn't feel like replacing all of it. But we also made some good progress in here. Now, this little hole right here, I come to find, this is actually the um, the little area where the mobs got stuck in the water behind my sheep's pen over there. So now I need to grab my great friend, Touch of Love, and we are going to go ahead and continue to fill out this area. Now, I think what I want to do is make it go down, kind of. So it's going to be like a main square room. And then there's a downstairs area right in the middle. And that leads to like a second floor that looks just like this. And it's literally going to be like a museum that you can look through. The different items and the things we've done. And maybe I'll write like journal entry. I don't know. Some fun. You know, it's fun to do stuff like that. And you know what's been killing me? is uh, a creepers kept spawning here because I play with my brightness. I edited my brightness so that it's always bright even when there's like no torches. Just so it's easy for you guys to watch. I always forget to place torches now. So mobs like always spawn when they shouldn't be because I suck and I like forget that, hey, I still need to, you know what I mean? It, it, it's just awful, it's just terrible. So I'm gonna just keep filling this in and as I make more progress, I'll continue to unpause the video. All right, another update. This roof area pretty much finished and looking real nice and good to go. Now we need to continue to make progress. We're gonna uh, empty out this roof part so we can continue to put the purr purr blocks all up now. And uh, not sure how far back I want this to go yet, but I need to go grab my golden tools. That's what I was using to excavate this earlier. Makes it so fast. Behold. Yes, yes. Oh, we sprung a lake. We done did. Oh, that is from up there what can i put do I have any dirt i guess we'll just do this for now but as you can see quite useful <laughs> a little messy but you know we typically clean it up pretty fast and then i just usually get the rest of the leftovers see i actually i actually have not been excavating too much with that because i've been liking to silk touch to get the stone to replace with the bricks but the more i think about it the more i think i'm gonna replace these walls with something eventually oh it took out the Oh boy, it does that sometimes. The diorite. Do I have any more diorite? I do. It'll it'll delete polished diorite even though you like want that. Oh, and it deleted it from above too. What a, what a tragedy. Well, we'll just have to make it that much deeper. My friends, this is why we have sponges. <laughs> Look at him suffering. Isn't that just cute? He's just suffering. He's literally stupid. I hate him. He should go away forever. Grab me the sponge and let it rip. Just like that. Oh, take it easy now. I'll tell you what, you can't be spreading. Can't let that happen. Afraid not, friend. We'll place another one of you right here. That's good. And another right there. And all the water cleared. Just like that. I love it. Look at him. He's still trying to survive. Look at you. Stupid. Eventually, I want to make not prismarine, but maybe prismarine brick. I want that to be... Oh, I guess I can't because this the roof shares the floor. Mm, so this has to stay that. Well, then maybe what I'll do instead, maybe I'll keep the walls this color because the stairs are already this, and then I'll make this roof prismarine, and it'll kind of match with the window over here too. Wouldn't that be something? Well, it looks like we can't go too much further because we've happened to cross a cave. Well... I guess not much of one. This is uh, this is manageable. We could we could dig into this. I could sure dig into this, man. It is definitely not five in the morning right now, and I'm pulling an all-nighter. Nothing like that. <laughs> See how far back I dug? That's how far I'm gonna make this room. That's what I've decided. So we need to. Oh man, oh man. Did that go all the way far back enough? I wonder. Not even. Definitely like not even. But look, oh, the water's leaking. Why does the water have to leak, man? Could I? No, that'd mess it up behind me too. I think if we just, oh, let me dig. Let me dig on this side to see where it comes out. Maybe I think that probably be helpful. Oh wow! 
Hey, pretty much spot on. Isn't that something? So now we just need to grab the sponges. I'm glad I left those. I, I should say I'm glad I started cooking those up. Yes, give it to me. Thank you very much. Where are you? Yes. Now we need to figure out where the leak is coming from. I thought I drained the water, so I'm wondering what it could be. What are you, friend? Oh, you're just like a little, you're just like a little fun zone, aren't you? Huh. Okay. Oh, wow. Hey, nice and simple. Real fun and simple. And it leads into the cave that we found. I think, right? No. Yo, we're like kicking it over by the village now. Hey, the plot thickens. Hey, seriously, this is getting really far out. Far out, dude. Oh. <laughs> Drop! Ouch. Okay, well, now that that's mostly handled, I guess I can collect you. Fall for me, please, please. Fall for me, please. No, not down there. Oh, boy. So we'll grab you from right there. Thank you. We'll grab you. And now I get to play patch up. But on the plus, we now know exactly what needs to go and what can stay. So the mining continues. We're down to our last, like, partial stack of endstone. And it's upsetting. Oh, boy. You know what else is upsetting is mobs could literally just fall in on me right now if I'm not too careful. So I need to make sure I'm way too careful. We might not have enough to finish the floor. Oh, I would be floored. Get it? We, we're not going to. I am so upset right now. At least try and straighten it out. Please let me straighten it out. Can I straighten it? Oh, there's why, why, why? Tell me there's a little more. No, just stupid. Oh, boy. Do we have enough purple blocks to at least complete... A good amount of the ceiling? Man, I didn't grab enough plain old. I didn't grab enough plain old. I grabbed so many pillars, but just not enough plain old. We might, oh my goodness. This is, this is, this is, this is bad, guys. All right, well, I ran out of end stone, like this kind, and I also ran out of the purr purr. So I guess what I'm going to do to wrap up is probably finish this wall. This is going to be like the... This is the final area as far as I'm concerned. I, I wanted to, um, oh, well, yeah, yeah, we'll do the wall, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. 24 times 3. 24 times 3. 24 times 3. That's what we need. What does that mean, you say? Well, that is to finish up the room. We're going to need 24 times 3 of sticks. We're going to need 24 times 3 of coal. And we're going to need 24 times 3 of blaze powder. It's important, I'm telling you. There we go. So there's 24 of the sticks. Just so to keep those separate. We'll put them right there. All right, we got three of 24 of coal. Ooh, this is gonna burn many, many of my blaze rods. Oh boy. Wow, we're not gonna have too many blaze rods after this, but it is necessary. I, th I think it is anyway. Let me, what is that, 19, 21. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this. One, two, three. There we go. So, shoot. We only have 20 blazers. We're going to have to head back to the nether. But, look what we can do now. You ready for this? So, check this out. Remember that recipe we made a, a while ago? Get the flaming coal? Right. You see? Did I... Uh-oh. Oh, it's... oh, it's this way. That's right. Right? Hmm. Now, that's supposed to be doing something. There's... it's That's supposed to be transforming. Let me see if it's in... Hmm, that's supposed to be doing something. I'm supposed to get a flaming coal from this recipe, and then what that does is it lets me turn... Yeah, if y'all saw in the last episode, this turns into a flaming coal. You place a flaming coal on top of a prismarine block, which is one of these. And then here's what we're gonna do. When you place a flaming coal on top of it, it turns a prismarine block into a... A sea lantern. You know what I mean? So, we're just going to pretend it worked because I didn't spend all this time getting it all ready for nothing. You know what I mean? So, just work with me, okay? So, here's what we're going to do. Since it's not working, look, this should get me 24 flaming coal. All those should get me 24 flaming coal in total. Now, 24 flaming coal plus 24 of these equals 24 of... Where is it? of these. So, 
like I said, we're just making it easier. It's not cheating. It's just that's how it's – oh, I had one of those before. That's how it was supposed to go. So now I got 24 of those. I'll have to talk to Xavier and TPC about why that's not working next time. Going to have to kill some more cows soon. But for now, this is – pretty much as far as we need to go. So, what we're gonna do now is make a couple item frames. Yeah, just like that. Now, do we have enough to do? We have enough to do three more just for the time being, and we've got some more wood right downstairs here. So, here's how it's gonna work. Since they're already named, I'm not gonna necessarily be renaming them, and I'm talking about the um, items that we're framing, but maybe we will. I don't really know yet. Actually, let me make, let me as well make the rest of these into, you know what I mean? Are you picking up what I'm throwing down here? Eh, eh, all right, I'm over. I'm, I'm literally already over. Close enough. <laughs> so here's what we were going to do. <gasps> See what I mean? See what I mean? I forget to torch places because, <laughs> because I just do. And I, be careful, man. Well, it won't matter now because this is where all these are going. Boom, 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 boom. And then one, two, three, four. And then uh, 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 uh. That is a nice looking room coming together, friends. And then the final touch was going to be, oops, placing item frames on all the different lanterns. And then slowly we're going to fill up. This area. Oh, it's gonna be great. We're gonna fill it up with different items we get from the different mobs. So let's start with what we've currently got. Just like this. Check it out. We, we also got the zombie king bone. We've got the spider queen bone eventually that we're gonna put up there once we get a duplicate. Assuming we get one. I don't know. Apparently the skitter, we, we might be losing this item soon. So I better get a duplicate. I don't know. Um, where was the, there it is. There's the hand. So Oh, and the monkey stuff, yeah. Wait, where are my monkey heads? Did I get deleted or something? I know I had monkey heads. Where are they? Man, I'm like pretty upset about that, to be honest. I guess you, I guess the monkey heads got deleted somehow. I don't really know, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and just fill what we have now for the time being. There's the magic wand here. Oh, and see, look. Well, that one doesn't, that one's not named, but the rest... Oh, you know what we gotta do? Hmm, how can we do this? Let me put you there. We'll put you there for now. Put the magic wand here. What else can we put? We'll put a dragon head right here. Hey, 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 this is looking really nice. And then we got the zombie king bone that we can place down right here. Oh, did it? Oh, I thought it just, that was weird. Okay, so look at that. Look at this. Hey, so yeah, I'm gonna name the ogre head and the dragon head. Uh, I guess I can do that right now. There we go, orc head and Douglas's head. Every time I kill the dragon, we call him Douglas because that's funny. Anyway, I think that's where I'm gonna leave things for for this episode, guys. We actually made a lot of progress. You may not know it, but like this has been like three days worth of recording and slow progress. So you know, if you want to see more build videos like this, where I just kind of you know boom, 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 like update you, then uh, you can let me know by dropping a like rating on this video. It'd be much appreciated. If you let me know if this is the kind of stuff you want to see. Most of the time I just skip my build projects, but I can do that really easy. It It's like literally I could just press record every once in a while when I normally wasn't. So if we can get, I don't know, let's go with 1,803 likes on this video. Then I'll do more recording of my building. But yeah, this is where the episode is going to end, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe so you can see more episodes of the Custom Command Mod Pack. Ready to come out. Big thank you to Xavier Hodgson and TPC Bonehand for their contributions. We'll get the, uh, we'll get the mini Tempest crafting machine figured out sooner rather than later. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you then.